In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing an alternative colour scheme for your Battle Sisters, which includes silver power armour, bone coloured robes, and other details you'll need to get painted. Welcome to Tabletop Ready. My name's Michael, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a Battle Sister from the Order of the Argent Shroud. I'll link any brushes and paints I use in this tutorial in the description below, as well as putting them on the screen when I use them. If you enjoyed the content here on Tabletop Ready, let me know in the comments and I would really appreciate you taking the time to like the video as well. It really does help to grow the channel and get out to more people. I've already created an in-depth tutorial showing you how to paint your Battle Sisters in the order of the Martyred Lady. So I do recommend also watching that tutorial which goes into more detail about all the steps and techniques that I'll be using here as well. In this tutorial, I'm just going to be focusing on the colours and the steps I would use to paint a Battle Sister from the Order of the Argent Shroud, which is going to build upon what I've already shown you and talked about in the more in-depth Martyr Lady tutorial. I've undercoated our miniature with lead voucher to start with, as this is going to make it easier to achieve a vibrant silver for our Argent Shroud power armour. And as usual, I've split this tutorial up into different chapters to make it easier to follow along with. Let's start with the inside of the robes first. Our base colour for the inside of the robes is going to be Mephiston Red, making sure we work towards a solid colour with multiple thin layers. When you're happy with the base colour, let's use a Corn Red Glaze to start darkening the shallow areas of the robe. A Mephiston Red Glaze can be used to help smooth those transitions between colours. Finish the inside of the robes using Troll Slayer Orange for our reg highlights and to highlight the raised folds. With the inside of the robes done, let's work on painting the silver power armour of the Argent Shroud. The first colour we're going to use is Iron Hand Steel for our armour's base colour. Do your best and try not to get this on the red robes you just painted. After that we can create some interest and definition using some Griff Charger Grey Contrast to give our armour a blue tint. When you're happy with how that looks, we can use an all oil just in those recessed areas to really bring out those details. To finish our silver Argent Shroud power armour, we can use Stormhouse Silver to highlight. Using different coloured contrasts and shades can really help to make silver armour look more interesting and give us a completely different tone overall once it's dried. Argent Shroud robes are a dirty bone colour, so let's start with some Rakar Flesh for our base colour, always making sure to get a solid colour to work with. When you're done painting the base colour, we're going to use a glaze of Bane Blade Brown in the shallow areas of the robe, and a Ushabti Bone Glaze to lighten those raised folds. We can use a Rakar Flesh Glaze to soften those transitions. Finally, highlight the robes using Screaming Skull. In this section of the tutorial, let's work on getting all those metallic details and weapons painted. For any silver details, start with Lead Belcher, as this is going to help separate these details from the silver armour. Use Norn Oil to create some definition. And finish these silver details with a Stormhouse Silver highlight. For all those gold relics and trinkets, start with Liberated Gold. Reichland Flesh Shade is then used for definition. Canoptec Alloy is then used to highlight these gold details. Let's finish any weapons painting weapon casings red, starting with some Mephiston Red. Evil Sun Scarlet for a chunky highlight. Control Slayer Orange to highlight any edges. There's not much left to get painted on our Argent Shroud Battle Sister, so let's finish with how we can get any last details finished. Let's finish up this tutorial getting any last details from our Argent Shroud Battle Sister painted. One of the last areas to get painted are any white details of the armour, so let's get these finished starting with some Corex White. 
apply some apothecary white contrast to create definition and bring out any details and once that's dried we can use some white scar to highlight. The last thing to do for our Argent Shroud Battle Sister is to paint our leathers like the gloves and corset, starting with some Abaddon Black. We're then going to use Eshin Grey for our first highlight and Dawnstone for our final highlight to finish these details. Using what we've learned from the Martyr Lady painting tutorial, we've been able to use the same techniques and steps to get a Battle Sister from the Argent Shroud painted, so let's see how it turned out. Our battle sister from the Order of the Argent Shroud is now finished and I hope I've been able to give you the knowledge and confidence to get your own miniatures painted. I do want to say a massive thank you to my current supporters who've made this tutorial possible, so thank you. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful, make sure to let me know in the comments and leave a like. Make sure to subscribe to Tabletop Ready if you don't want to miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next video.